I'm Robert Stelic with Food Planet Surf Shop and I'm going to show you how to install fins on your board and in particular our Blue Planet boards, but this will work for any board, really stand-up paddle board or even surf boards. Uh, our our stand-up paddle boards under 10 feet all have five fin boxes and we ship them with five different fins. If you buy the board at our shop, we'll help you install it and show you how to do it, but if you got one shipped to you and you're not sure how to do this, uh, I'm gonna go over it real quick here. So. Our boards come with five, five different fins uh, for all five boxes, but you're not really supposed to use all five fins at the same time. So don't, don't use them all together. It's e either a two plus one or a quad or a single fin is what we recommend using it as. So uh, let's start with the center fin. And uh, basically if you're gonna use the board mostly in flat water and you're not surfing the board, then you don't really need the side fins. They'll just add more drag and they don't really help much um, for, for going straight. It's mostly for turning on the wave. The, uh, the side fins will give you more grip on the wave, um, grab, grab in the turns basically. So if you're not going to be surfing the board, just only use the center fin. And I'll show you how to install that one first. So the center fin, uh, the fin screw and plate is already installed on the board. So the first thing we need is a Phillips head screwdriver. Start by just um, loosening up the screw. To screw it all the way out of the fin plate that's in the box, and um, oops, not dropped in there. So um, a good tool to have also is use that fin key that comes with the fins, and you can use that to um, move the fin plate and the screw around. So at the bottom of the box, there's a little track for the fin plate. So there's a plate at the bottom that slides into the bottom of the box. And it's easy to move around with this fin fin key, um, and then. You slide the fin in, it has like a little notch on the back, so that goes in the middle. You can slide it back. And, you know, to start with, we recommend putting the fin right in the middle of the box. Um, later on, if you want to move it further back, that'll help you with tracking. It'll help uh, the board track more straight. Uh, if you move it more forward, it's going to make the board a little bit looser, easier to turn. So, you know, we recommend just starting with it in the middle of the box and then you can adjust it from there. And then uh, you want to move the plate so it's right underneath the little hole on top. And if you stick the fin plate, uh, the fin screw, into the hole and then just line up the hole underneath with that, it'll make it real easy for you to get the screw in. Just push the screw in and, and tighten it down. You don't have to crank it down super tight, just hand tight. And you got a nice fit on the center fin. So that's the center fin. If you're going in flat water, that's all you need to put on. Now, if you want to go surf, we recommend putting the side fins on as well. Uh, and we're going to do it as a two plus one. So leave the center fin in and put the two front fins in. Now, the, the fins, there's two different fins. The ones in the front have a deeper box. These, the front boxes are deeper. So the forward boxes are deeper. And the fin boxes that are further in the back are, are more shallow. So this, the, these boxes have the deeper slot and these ones have the shallower slot. So you have to make sure you put the fins in the right boxes. And then these fins are kind of angled out a little bit. So the angle is toward, the fins angle out towards the rail. The inside of the fin surface is flat and the outside has a, has a curve or a foil to it. So um, first of all, you want to make sure you um, loosen up the screws in the front of the box. You just use the hex, uh, um, hex key tool that comes with it. And then make sure there's no um, gunk on the inside, the uh, thing's all clean. Then you just, um, it has a little notch in the back here, and push it in, push it down, and make sure it, um, the back notch lines up the notch in the fin box, and then slide it all the way back, and then the front should just push right in. And you want this to be a nice tight fit, um, but if it's too tight, Sometimes you might have to do a little bit of sanding on the fin, um, but you want it to be nice and tight and usually you can fit it in there. If it's really tight also sometimes what works is just using a little bit of soap to get it in there. And then I, I tighten it down until I feel resistance and then just go a little bit further. But um, you just want it hand tight. You don't want to crank it down too tight. Definitely never use power tools to do this. 
um, because if you tighten it too much, it'll strip the plastic um, thread inside the fin box and then it's kind of difficult to repair that. It is possible to, to re-thread the, these holes though, but um, to, to try not to over tighten the, the screw in the front. So same thing on the other side, I'm gonna tighten this down um, till, till I can feel it touching the front of the fin. And then once it touches, maybe just a little quarter turn more and that's it. Don't over tighten it once again. And then these are in tight, strong. So this is called the two plus one setup. Two front fins, one center fin. This is a nice stable um, setup, works well on bigger waves too. Gives you more stability by having a deeper fin in the middle. But if you wanna loosen the whole board up a little bit, you can set it up as a quad. And as a quad, it makes the board a lot looser. Like in, in the turning, it's just easier to come off the top, kind of slide the tail out a little bit and, and do things like that which the bigger center fin will kind of stiffen up the tail a bit, so a little bit harder to do the hard turns off the top and so on. When you're starting out, I would recommend going with the two plus one, but you can play around with the quad fin setup too. So to do that, we're gonna take the center fin back out and you put the back fins in the box the same way. Loosen up the front screw, slide these in. And these ones are symmetrical. They have foils on both sides and are straight in the box. So these ones, there's not really a left and a right, they're both the same, but the front fins, you can kind of see that they're angled out versus this one is a little bit more straight. Um, same thing, tighten it till it's, you can feel resistance and then just a little bit tighter, but not mo much more. Never over tighten these screws, it's important. I've seen people do over tighten them and then having to fix those holes. So this is a quad fin setup. This makes the board really loose and fun to surf. Um, it's nice, nice when you get a little bit better at surfing. You want the board to slide out a little bit. Uh, one downside of it is that it, uh, like in the bottom turn, sometimes when you have a hard bottom turn and you really push on the tail, it'll also tend to like slide out a little bit. So uh, that's what, what I call drive. Sometimes it's lacking a little bit of drive when you push really hard on your back foot on a bottom turn. It kind of slips a little bit. So um, a nice combination can also be a smaller center fin with the, just the two front fins. So it's like a kind of more of a thruster where all three fins are almost the same size. Or just a two plus one with a smaller center fin. I'm gonna set that up now. So I'm gonna just take out the quad fins. And you know, there's a lot of different quad fins available too. So um, there's a lot of aftermarket fins available that you can use a smaller quad fin set to loosen it up or a bigger quad fin set to have a little bit more um, grab. And usually too, um, like the wider the tail, the bigger the fins, um, you wanna kinda match the size of the board and the tail to the size of the fin. If the tail is super wide, bigger fins work good. If the tail is really narrow, you can go with smaller fins. And then also the size of the waves. Usually in bigger waves, you wanna use bigger fins. So this is a seven inch fin. Like this one here is a nine inch fin. This is a seven inch fin. So you can see this one has a lot less surface area. So this, this center fin will make the board looser than having a big center fin. So now this fin here, when I put it in, um, you know, these are all supposed to be universal um, size US boxes, but sometimes the, the fin and the box don't match up exactly like this one. The fin has a little bit of wiggle. It's not super tight in there. So if that's the case, um, it's good to shim it. And what I use is just some packing tape. I wrap it in on itself so there's no sticky um, parts on the outside. This is just three layers of packing tape. And I, I stick it in there around the fin. And then I push it into the box with the fin. And now I got a nice tight fit. It's like, a, you know, just a shim. And I line up the fin plate with the hole in the fin again. And then this one, I need a flathead screwdriver to tighten down. Make it hand tight, not too super tight. Make sure it's a nice tight fit. Okay, and now this is a different kind of two plus one setup just with a smaller center fin. So this will definitely be looser than having a big nine inch center fin. I'm gonna install a uh, four and three quarter inch center fin, which is about the same size as these side fins. So with this center fin, and I'm gonna move it far, pretty far back, just to leave more gap between the fins. It seems to work better. Move this one all the way back. And 
forgot to put the fin plate in first. Slide the fin plate in. Line up the fin plate with the screw. Okay, so now I have, this is called the thruster setup where all three fins are about the same size. And this will make the board looser, kind of feeling, feel more like a quad. But by, by having a center fin here, it really keeps the, keeps a little bit more drive. Like, uh, like the, the thruster set up, like in the bottom turn, it, to me, it feels a little bit more drivey versus the quad can sometimes feel a little bit like it wants to slip out. But it always depends on the size of the fins too. So can you set up a quad fin set, set up with the center fin? Yes, you can, but I, I would say, if anything, you want the, the back fin here to be real small, like even smaller than this, just like the little nub as a center fin works okay if, if you use it with the quads. You don't wanna have too many, like too much fin area will create kind of a cluster, the cluster of fins kind of creates more drag and, and less speed and so on, you know? So if you're gonna put a center fin in with the quad fin setup, use a fin that's smaller than the back fins. So um, I'm gonna set up one more fin set here, one of our high performance ones. So I'm gonna take these ones off again. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna install a, a more high performance fin set on, on this board, a quad fin set that we sell as a, an aftermarket accessory. So that, on this one you can see the, the back fins are smaller than the ones that come with the board. So that's gonna make the board more loose. The, big, the front fin is slightly different shape. Um, about the same surface area as the, the plastic fins that it comes with. But this has a nice um, inside foil also. Instead of being just flat on the inside, it actually has a little bit of a foil to the inside, which kind of gives you an extra drive in turns and so on. So this fin set has the bamboo, bamboo inlay, which kind of matches the boards nicely. And it has these little cutouts here to save weight on the fin. So they're quite lightweight and they're made of fiberglass versus injection molded plastic. So it's like a stronger, uh, more high performance material as well. So we're gonna slide it in. Make sure the pin is all, pin screws all the way pulled out. Get it in there properly, tighten it down. Same thing, don't over tighten it. Once they feel it touching, just like another quarter turn, that's all it takes. Back one, same thing, the back ones have the shallower base. Now it tightens down. The reason they're more shallow in the back is because they're kind of closer to the thinner part of the rail. The back fins, like, um, because the tail tapers down on the tail, especially on the surfboards, they need to, the, the fin boxes need to be smaller, otherwise it would be going through the deck on the other side. So that's why the future fin boxes are designed to be um, not as deep in the back as in the front. Put them on the other side as well. And that's our quad fin setup. So this makes the board super loose, fun to surf, really, um, real nice, especially in, um, you know, up to head high surf where you want you want to be right in the pocket and be able to really swing that board around and do nice tight carves. Uh, that's what, what this fin set is really good at. All right, so those are a few different options. And you know, always experiment with your fins. It really makes a difference if you're not happy with the way your board's working or with your surfing, you know, just ch try to change the fin setup. Sometimes all, that's all it takes to really change change up your board and your surfing, uh, just trying different fins and it'll um, improve, your, improve your surfing too. So thanks for watching, aloha.